or just to even just check out the river. Yeah, it looks like, is there a park down there? Let's see. Um, I, I remember checking this out before and there's a boat ramp over here. Hey, good morning guys. Uh, this is Hallie with Back Fishing. Welcome back again to another episode. I am actually on my way to California. I'm just traveling on the I-5 corridor and what we're going to do today is, um, have you ever thought, you know, every time you pass by a river on I-5 um, or any of the uh, freeways, have you ever thought about um, fishing all the rivers that you pass? Well, that's what I'm going to try to do today. I'm going to try to go to most of the uh, rest areas that have rivers that run along the I-5 corridor. So our first stop is the Santiam River rest area. The plan is to just throw maybe a rooster tail or a uh, uh, panther martin. Anyways, I'm gonna go um, give it a go. All right guys, this is my um, garage sale pickup. It's four piece and I got it for 10 bucks. That's a great deal. It's the Eagle Claw Packet um, 7.6 and a uh, half ounce lure. Okay, cool. And got to pair it up with the uh, Thousand Sedona. I used this for perch actually the other day. But yeah, let's uh, get this set up. All right, guys, this is the rest stop right here. And uh, it looks kind of fishable to me. So let's go. Um, throw something in water see if uh, we can catch some Santiam River awesome let's do this All right, guys, our first cast, our first break from this drive. I see some structure right here. All right, I see it. Rooster tail, rooster tail spinning pretty nicely. Oh, I see a fish right there, dude right in front right there oh man i gotta let I, I see it let's see if it go after it just right in front of me is that a it looks like a sucker yeah that's a sucker fish so I tried all along here, nothing much going on. So I'm gonna go in that darker area, that softer water over there and throw some, the spinner. What typically do you catch here? What typically do you catch here? <laughs> you catch trout and stuff? Yeah. Salmon, yeah. It's probably too a little early still. Oh. Oh, carp? Yeah, I did see some in the water. Is that what you're going for? Uh, you, are you going for uh, trout? I mean, carp or? Uh, uh, white fish I'll, I'll keep if they're small enough and I'm catching that one. But yeah. If they get too big, then they're, they're too bad to Oh, really? Aren't they a bony fish, white fish? Yeah. But they're good tasting? Okay. It's a lot of work. <laughs> All right. It's a whole bunch of work. Yeah. Well, have a good day. Uh, good luck to you.
<laughs> All right, I'm headed to California still. I got a long ways to go. Thank you. All right, guys. Um, the Santiam River um, rest stop here. I was just talking to a, a fisherman down there. He says that um, some guys do some fly fishing over here for for trout, but you know, predominantly, you know, in the years past, this this used to be a really awesome salmon fishery, but uh, the last ten years probably has uh, depleted, like along with every river um a lot of the hatcheries are having issues especially here in uh, the santiama that's according to the uh, the guys that work for you know the the park here that was fun um a little longer than i wanted to stay but i'm not sleepy anymore all right let's go Next river, I don't know which river it's going to be, but more than likely it's the Willamette because the Willamette goes a long ways down south. But here it is, Santiam River. That's, I was just below here. And that's what I was talking about. Don't you wish you can fish that river every time you're driving? This is Myrtle Creek, the exit. Let's see if we have any bank access to this river or just to even just check out the river. All right, let's go down here. Cast for a little bit. A little steeper over here. Yeah, this is a steep, steep trail. Probably better going up on this. But it is the shortest cut. Oh, I just saw the little skink there. There it is, there's the bottom. How you doing? Pretty good, how about you? Oh, not too bad. Any luck today? Yeah, I caught a little over a dozen. I got 13 smallmouth and one catfish. Oh, wow. I didn't even know they had catfish here. Oh. <laughs> so they probably needed me. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. So you're not from around here? Yeah, I live right here in the county. Oh, I see, I see. I just uh, wanted to take a break from driving. I saw this beautiful river. Oh, you're Oh, you're on a road trip right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just you picked a good spot. Yeah, I um. Well, can you catch some on lure, or you, were you just bait fishing? I was using live worms. Okay. And I was using rubber worms. Okay. Which is, uh, I have some in the car actually. I'll give you one right now while you're here. Well, I don't have the hook, so. Um, it's funny because there's somebody left a hook right here. Oh, is that right? There's the bass hook sitting right here. Oh, maybe I'll okay. I'll give you a worm, so you don't have to go back up to the car. Oh, appreciate that. Get rid of them. That is awesome. We're just bouncing it off the bottom. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Have a wonderful day, sir. You too. Thanks for the information. Appreciate it. Mahalos. Mahalos. Yes, good luck. <laughs> Get that big one for you, will we? Oh, we'll see. We'll see. I, I'm only I'm like. On YouTube and see you out there. Like, I met this guy. We saw this. Video. I caught him. <laughs> I hope he sees this channel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother. Later. All right, guys, the grub is going to work. I hope I uh, can catch some, maybe something. Just right there along the ledge here. Maybe just bounce it off the bottom. That'd be cool. 
What do you got? Nothing? Right along this ledge here. I didn't know this was just bass only kind of water. There's tadpoles. All right, let's go here. Let's let it sink this time. Something picks it up, that would be awesome. slow water and it's warm water so it's definitely gonna be a bass hole okay that's what the guy said all right I'm gonna cover over here look at all those tadpoles Ooh, there's a bass right there. All right. Let's go there. That's what... Ooh, I just had a hit. Man. I bet you uh, these bass in here are thinking it's... it's um, Yep, I got hit. Look at that. All right. Let's give it a go again. Give it a go. Okay. Pretty deep channel. Let's go over here. Ooh, I just got hit. Come on now. I did get a couple of hits though. All right, let's change it up. Change it up to another, I got an idea. He gave me that other, it's almost like a, a fluke. Let's see if I have it. Oh, uh, here it is. Yeah, it's almost a fluke, but it's, uh, it's more like a worm. Okay. Go like that. And go through like this. It's not the best, but I'm going to try like that. There you go. 
Let's try that. Give that a go. All right, here we go. All right, I, th I think I'm on, guys. Oh yeah, I am on. Yeah. What the, all right. It's a bass. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, they fight good. Well, actually, on this pole, it's really a, a light pole. All right. All right. There we go, baby. Yee! I'm pretty happy. Smalley in the South Umqua. There's a, there's a Smalley in South Umqua. I'm just going to put this over here. Like that. Get this guy back in the water. Ooh. All right, hold on, hold on. I don't want, I don't, I don't want to get... Ow, ow, ow. I don't want to hook. Ow. They have spines, too. Ah. All right, that worked. Oh, well, I want to take a picture. Oh, oh my God, there's a huge one right there. Right there. That's a huge one. Oh my God, I don't know if you've seen that. Wow. That's huge. Oh my gosh. Just hanging out right there. All right, there it is, guys. Makeshift uh, Texas rig. This was found on the um, on the ground, and then the guy gave me this uh, soft plastic uh, worm so that I don't have to go back to my car. So that was it, and it's a Carolina rig, and just bouncing it off the bottom, they picked it up. Yes, not bad for this ten-dollar eagle claw pole. Getting bites right now. Just take it. Fish on. Oh yeah, fish on. Oh, this is a heavier one. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's how to do it. We'll just land them over here. Look at the bend on my pole. Come on, baby. Yeah. Look. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, don't want to mess up my reel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Second fish. It's a big hole over here. Oh, second fish. All right. South Umqua Smalley. All right, on our way out, it's going to be a little easier going uphill, that's for sure, than downhill. This was pretty steep. If I can walk straight, I am walking like a drunk guy. I'm in short, so I have to watch out for these blackberry bushes as well. Oh, I think the things I do for a video footage. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, dang, look at that. See? That's what I mean. Ouch. Ouch. Ah. Right. Ugh. Almost there. Ah. This is kind of gravelly. 
and slippery with the sand what the heck what the heck was that oh freaking lizards scared me Ooh, jeepers i was like uh, i don't like those things thought there was uh, like a freaking mouse scurrying along i hate mice oh there's a there's a lizard there i, I remember checking this out before and there's a boat ramp over here Make sure we uh, lock the car. All right, let's go. Looks like this guy's uh, trying to catch some salmon or something. I just want trout. <laughs> just a little action. Just a little bit, right? Yeah. Well, guys, I think that's going to do it for today. Um, this is the Rogue River, and um, it's fairly shallow in this area, but you know, I, I got to get down. I got to get down to California. And, guys, I just want to remind you on, on my last video on Northern. Oregon coastal fishing day two I'm giving away two crab snares okay and the details are on that video you have to comment on that video okay. all right guys that's gonna wrap it up for today thanks for uh, tuning in and I guess the saying goes service onto others is the rent you pay here on earth all right laters